everybody. Hi. Thomas, a really brilliant film, very emotional. I always wonder how it is for you when you step back. Does it get really emotional when you do It is. They're not easy movies to make. I mean, we uh, you think you're odd. You're in a recording studio and you have a you have a microphone that you can't move too far away from, just like these. Uh, but you have to get to a place, you know. Uh, you have to get there through some uh, some muscle memory and some uh, some. Uh, so I'm recognizing how long it's been and how many times. Look, but the first time we stepped in front of the microphones, I believe, was 1991. That's a long time ago, but it's all still right there. You pick up right where you left off, right where you were the first time, even though it's just a couple of years ago and we were starting the fourth one. Oh, I must say, I have to say, uh, uh, Forky doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but he certainly is hilarious. And I love that he's actually created. He's not a toy that's been manufactured by a company. He's actually only been made by the imagination of, uh, of Bond who made it. I think he's extraordinary. Great, thank you. Um, so we've got some new characters in this film. Do you have a favorite? Oh my gosh. I, I kind of think my favorite is is um, Duke Kaboom right now. I think Duke, I mean I love them all, but Duke Kaboom is our you know, Canadian's daredevil motorcycle rider voiced by Keanu Reeves and sort of a truth toy from my childhood of the 70s I had kind of won a toy like that yeah. so we love Duke I love Forky you know he's kind of a new type of character that we've never seen in a Toy Story film he was created by a kid by just at her love and her imagination and came to life we've never seen that before so it's fun to watch him kind of turn things on their head for the other characters yeah. so Forky is, is a winner for me and if there's going to be one of the new characters to get a spin-off who would you like to see oh, good question I yeah. would say how about Forky, Forky. You know, we're actually making 10 short films about Forky that are going to be for Disney Plus. So that's actually in motion right now. We love that character so much we knew he had more story to tell. And do you have a favorite Easter egg from the new film? Oh man, there's, this is the mother of all Easter egg films because we had to fill that antique store. My favorite Easter egg is probably, you know, there, we have a tradition of putting the Pizza Planet truck, we call it, in the original Toy Story, in the movies, in all of them. And it's in the best spot ever. I don't know if I want to give it away. Do we want to give it away? No. Okay, give it away. Should I? Yeah, do it. It's not even a physical version of it. It's a tattoo on somebody. So look close. And maybe it's the carnival worker. Look close. There's literally something from every movie Pixar's ever made in the background in this movie. Yeah. That antique store is a wealth of it. So we, we hope it's rewarding to all the people who love Easter eggs. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Thank you. Um, so this is quite an emotional new film. Is there any moment in particular that made you cry? Oh boy. Well, I've been on this movie for five years and uh, there's been moments throughout the entire process that have hit me emotionally. Um, it's one, I'll tell you, one of them that just popped in my head was the first time I heard Randy Newman's music t uh, against our, t on the film. And that's when it really clicked that we were making a Toy Story movie. His music is just as important as Tom's voice or Tim's voice, any, or Andy's voice, anybody's voice in this film. It is it, Randy's voice is in this film too. And is there any of the new characters that you have a particular like favorite for? Oh, that's like asking who your favorite child is. But um, uh, I, I like them all for, for different reasons, I, uh, so I, I can't answer that. <laughs> um, if there's one character that you think has got more of a story to tell in a spin-off, who would you like to see? Well, we are doing um, a couple shorts for Forky, who's the toy that's made out of a spork, and he doesn't understand what it means to, to be a toy. So uh, for Disney+, Plus, we're doing about 10 short films about Forky, kind of uh, called Forky Asks a Question, so he's trying to figure out how life works. It's a lot of fun. And there's quite a lot of Easter eggs in this film. Um, is there one that you have, that one of your favorites? What were they? Uh, of the Easter eggs in the film, oh, have yes. you got a favorite? Um, I love where the Pizza Planet truck is. It's not where you think it would be, so it's a good one. Thank you, so nice to meet you. I'm good, how are you? Are you looking forward to the film? I'm so excited, I hear that Tom Hanks is just on his way now. Oh my God, so so. And what's your favorite Toy Story character? Uh, I love Jesse. But it's Woody. Woody. Oh, I don't know. I, I, do you know what? I think it's. I think it's the relationship that Buzz and Woody have. Really, that sort of friendship is just adorable. And how's your pregnancy going so far? How are you finding it? I, 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 I mean, it's hot. <laughs> it's pretty warm today, but yeah, super happy. Super happy. Are you all prepared for the new arrival? No, not remotely. So they, they, the first one, my first little one, she had absolutely everything like months in, and with this one, I'm, I'm just. Uh, I'm thinking as soon as I pop him out, I might have stopped 
at the shops on the way because we haven't done anything. Um, and how are your daughters feeling about having a new sibling? They're over the moon. They're, uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get near this little one because they've even put a roster together of all the jobs that they're going to do. Weirdly, no one's on nappy duty though.